So, hello, and welcome back to what is actually take two of attempting to do this video. Thankfully, I realized that I had messed up uh, not too far into it, so didn't lose too much. But basically, um, our goals this episode are to work on Sorka's aspiration a little bit more. She needs to become companions with her fire lizard. And we need to work on Sean and Sorka's relationship a little bit and get them up to a... I, I think my goal is going to be if we can get them up to 5,000 simoleons, then we are going to work on their little, like, prefab house that would have come with with all of the colonists as they attained adulthood. If you remember in the books, and if you haven't read the books, I definitely suggest that you read them, starting with Dragon's Dawn, which is what we have based this on. Um, the colonists, when they landed on the planet Pern, they put up housing, and it was meant to be temporary-ish. And they used uh, silicate-based plastics. Well, first they used carbon-based plastics, which turned out to be a very bad mistake. But they used plastics to basically just make little micro-homes for all of the family units. And then as the colony grew, the people spread out and claimed their own stake acres. Now, since we made our Sean in the last episode, he and Sorka right now, I mean, I, I have them living in this tent, but if we can get them to 5,000 simoleons, we're going to go ahead and make them a, a little prefabbed house. So that's kind of my goal. Sean's basically working as a manual laborer. Sorka wants to be friend of the animals. We do also need to work on their relationship a little bit. Because, as you know, Sorka needs to start having our next generation. And I think I've mentioned it before, my big plan is any children that she has, which anytime their wants say that they would like to become affectionate with each other, we're just going to let them. Any interaction they have is going to be try for baby, because that was one of the big uh, pern things was, you know, they, they needed to have a large enough gene pool to sustain a population on the planet Pern. So, with all of that, uh, all you really missed in my mistake was we sent Sean out jogging and Sorka just woke up from a nap and she is uh, playing with her, her fire lizard a little bit. So, let's see if I can do this right this time. All right, so there is Sorka. Let's go ahead and hit play. Sean is out jogging. Sorka's given Duke a little oh. brush. Yes. Uh, we can also feel the love. Sean has hit fitness level two. Good job, Sean. That's pretty mm. awesome. Ahemka. Sorka's Hi. aspirations, she needs to become companions with an animal and train out one more ah. misbehavior Long and become snow, friends yo. with a couple more of the animals around here. So, oh, I think nice. Duke just peed on the ah, cooler. Great oh, job, Duke. Up, <laughs> oh, Clement Frost is calling. Oh, he's got a crush on Chastity Palma. Do you think it's worth a try? Of course it's worth a try. Go for it, Santa. Just go ahead and do that. What else can we do with this dog? Let's see. Obviously, we're going to get to know our dog a little, or our fire lizard a little bit better. I'll remember that one of these days. And... I think we're going to work on a little bit more training. Let's work on heal for a little while. Sork is still a little bit sleepy, but that's okay. Isn't going to hurt a darn thing. Also, it looks like there is a duke poop over here. Oh, Sean doesn't like fitness. Uh, well, I guess, I guess Sean doesn't like fitness then, does he? Kind of too bad. We're also going to put this poop into Sorka's inventory because it makes good fertilizer. 
Sean, where are you at? You are fatigued and grungy. Alright, Sean, go take a shower. Go ahead and do that. While Sorka works with the dog here. She is doing a good job on teaching Duke to heal. Sean showering. Orca is doing her thing with the doggy. After she's done with that, I think we are going to light the fire, hopefully without setting ourselves on fire. Anazori, and, uh, yeah. I think we're going to light the fire and roast some hot dogs. Other than that, Sorka is sleepy. Sean is hungry. Sorka lit herself on fire. Good job, Sorka. Also just realized I had myself in a spot where you couldn't see how everybody was actually doing there, but Sorka, there we go. Sean, why don't you come here and roast yourself a hot dog. Sorka is Still teaching her dog to heal. Her dog does not seem to be all that good. What should we do here? I think we're going to express a little bit of fondness for Sean. They are, after all, supposed to be highly in love here. Sean's just a little bit worried about food. Not all that surprising. Also, Sorka, I think you had some frogs in Tori, didn't you? Yeah, let's go ahead and breed these frogs and see if we can get a little bit more money. Don't want to sell them all or we can't breed them again. Good job. Oh. <laughs> right, what these two? I think she is still, um, she's still training her dog. I I think, Sorka, I think you're doing good. You can, you can stop training the dog now. Hey, and Sean has made it up to level two. Sorka would like to be friendly with Sean. Uh, we can probably manage that. Let's tell him an engaging story. She's, she is definitely way more into the dog than Sean at the moment. But it kind of looks like they're getting oh, pretty good. Rinka. Oh, uh oh, Clement Frost. Oh, hey, look at that. He had a great camp. Veruda Dibowis. Shrozis Abimi. Zoomf Veruda. Jillabar Kitsuni. Sorspa Kitsuni. Let's go ahead. <laughs> see what she wants to do now. She wants to flirt with Sean. We can oh. do that. <laughs> Oh, boy, Let's go ahead and do a little flirt. <laughs> oh, move. We're going to be Rinka guided by go. our whims here. Oh, bye. At least most of them, Desiree. except for this bee box one, which is kind of oh. stupid. And oh. Loy. <sighs> Obviously, they are talking all about their goals and dreams with Killarney Steak. What does she want to do now? She still wants to flirt with Sean. Well, obviously, let's go ahead and flirt. Here we go, let's flirt. What else does she want to do? Oh, she wants to make out with him. Well, she's just taking things to the next level already, isn't she? Make out? Do we have a make out? We definitely have a lot of. Oh. I don't see a make out. Maybe we can make out in the tent. Uh -huh. Nap, relax. Nope. <laughs> I don't think we exactly have a make out in tent thing, but. Hey, we are charisma. Good friends. We are doing great here. You're doing great, Sorka. Good job. She wants to meet a dog and she wants to make out with Sean. What's Sean thinking here? Sean is thinking about becoming confident, playing fetch with the dog, and meeting someone new. 
That, that doesn't look nearly as, as good. But it looks like Sorka probably needs to go to sleep, unless I can figure out how to do some uh, little make-out session here. Bad butt, we press cheek, and... Keeps just doing the try for baby intent, but you know, that's alright. I don't think they're quite there yet. Slaboon. Kalahosha. Although we do know that they did manage to get pregnant before having their their ceremony. Narfa. But it also looks like she is uh, right on the edge of being almost too exhausted to think. So let's give her some cereal and go ahead and let her go to sleep. Sean, what have you got going here? You do need to use the restroom. And then, you know, I think... I think we are going to take Sean out and see if we can find anything collectible or to make money with. Because, you know, we need those dollars if want to make our little prefab house. So let's take a look around and do a little digging for treasure. And then we can let him go to bed. But first we're gonna find some frogs. We're gonna dig for treasure. We're gonna go ahead and harvest everything that we can. And then we'll come back to the house and see what we get. All right, and go, go, go. <laughs> we'll join him back when he is done on his treasure hunt. I'm also not sure if I am doing anything right right now. Okay, there we go. All right, they are still sleeping, it looks like. Uh, Duke looks like he's actually doing better. Uh, let's bring this back down. Sean is hot-headed and tends to be angry. I guess that's life, isn't it? All right. Looks like whatever was wrong with Duke last night is just fine. What would he like? He would like to go play in the rain and level up in his fitness skill. Well, you know what, Sean? Go ahead and play in the rain. Sorka, are you ever planning on waking up, or are you just going to sleep for the rest of your life? I think you probably had enough sleep. There we go. Sean's going to frolic around in the rain. Sorka's going to go use the restroom. And then I think, after we breed our frogs one more time and see if we can get some decent money for them. I feel like most of our money is being made on frogs. I guess there's nothing wrong with that. Alright. Guys, get out of the house so that I can go ahead and let's jump into build mode and see about maybe, uh, maybe fixing up this house just a little bit. Maybe making it into an actual house. Well, we do that, let's go ahead and have the two of them go fishing. John, go ahead and why don't you go fishing as well. And while they do that, we are going to jump into build mode. And see what we can do here. We don't need to do much, we just need a little bit of house. Get this stuff out of the way. And build our little prefab. Amazing plastic or something house. Now, to make up for the money that we definitely are going to be needing, go ahead and sell our campfire. We're gonna sell that. We're gonna sell 
our tent. And that, hey, look at that. We are now over 5,000 small ants. All right. I think we're going to do this backwards. I think what we're going to do, go ahead and get a futuristic looking bed. After all, it would have been salvaged off of the spaceship. I'm just going to go really basic. And that took a big old chunk of money, didn't it? Oh well. We will make it eventually. But we're going to get the basics that we know we need. So, a basic refrigerator, a basic stove, and a basic counter. And we can always upgrade this as we go. But we want this to kind of look like it's been salvaged off of a spaceship. Which is where most of the furniture would have been salvaged from. Alright, we are going to need a sleeping room. There. So, let's go into walls. Go ahead and do... wall so it actually goes where we want it. There we go. Alright, now let's put our bed right there. Gotta have enough room to get around the bed. That should have one more square, I think, so that we can actually get in and out of our room. There is our sleeping room. Now we just need kind of a main room and all right we have officially gone up from a micro home we might be able to bring this back down but for now I think that is what we're going to do don't have a heck of a lot of money left but that's all right life goes on least amount of simoleons possible. Cheapest door. This door is only 40 simoleons. Obviously this is going to be our door. There and there. Alright, let's get rid of that door. Although it was the same amount of money, but that's alright. Now this is going to be a very, very basic house. Things will be upgraded as we go. But, for right now, just want the basics. In fact, I don't even think we need a cabinet right now. So, probably make this house a little bit smaller too. That over that way. Shrink this. We can't shrink it that much. But we can. Ah, we can't move the dog. Doesn't that just fit here? That's alright. Wow. 
glass of water. Figures. Like I said, this this is pretty darn basic, but hopefully. Well, good job me. I just made many things disappear. Alright, it's in our inventory. Now, Sorka did make a couple of tables. And it looks like a few other things in there. I think she just made a table. Alright. Okay. Now, I know I could do the move objects cheat and a couple other things, and we might eventually. But, right now, we're gonna go cheat free. There we go. Because I think we can do this without cheating. Well, this is probably not all that thrilling, so I am going to pause it, and I will join you when I get this all worked out. Alright, well, I worked out at least the basic layout. We just need a couple more items to make this a functional house, and that would be some place for them to probably just sit and eat. I would add entertainment and all of those things, but for right now, I don't think that they really that, although I think I am going to their little table inside, and then possibly a little bit of the outside, like maybe a window or two. Some of those nice things, but I think mostly what they need is some place to sit and eat. This will count as some place they can sit and eat. Nope, that is an end table. They can just put that in there since Sorka made it for them, and she can make them some more chairs here in a little bit as well. But until then, we definitely need something salvaged from the spaceship. Probably just this little dining table. And a couple of little chairs also salvaged. Now that's a kid's chair. Right now, I think this is going to be as good as we can do it. Hopefully I can not snap the chair. Let's see if we can. There we go. Now can we move? There we go. The house. And yeah, we're just going to do a real quick paint job on this house and call it good. Flooring, I think we just need something that looks, um, probably masonry. Something, again, just quickly, quickly made. And it looks like that is already in there, okay. And we just need walls. I think that they possibly have, we don't want just drywall, but we do want something that kinda just looks... Martian soil. Sounds good to me. That works. Now we just need to do the outside really quick. And I think we're just going to copy from our bathroom. Let's do that. And that. That works. Oh, I suppose I need a roof too. It's crazy things like that. just gonna copy it. Just not, not really trying to do anything fancy with this house. Worry about fancy some other day. Now I think we do want a overhang on these roofs though. Maybe a 
couple of what is our cheapest window. $30 casement windows. Sounds good. There. And here. One over there. After all, we don't have a lot of lights in this house, so we probably want at least a little bit of light. And maybe one more in the back. There we go. And we are going to call this good enough. We still have a little bit of simoleons left over. So, let's jump back in and uh, see how we're doing here. Also, since most of the time we play the walls down, or more likely on cutaway, that should work. Sorka. Sean, you guys made a mess. I guess we should probably also move the dog bowl inside. Fill that bowl and call call Duke to eat there, Sean. Sorka, you probably can go ahead and gardening quick. Harvest everything. A little bit of weeding. Don't think we have to water, but maybe we can fertilize. No, can't fertilize that one. That one. Harvest. Yep, looks like we've already fertilized everything with our poop already. Oh, yep. Hide. We can fertilize that one. Alright, good job. And we caught a koi. Awesome. Sean's going to do his thing, and I think once we have Sorka done with that, we're going to see about her aspiration, see if we can meet a couple more animals, maybe even become companions with this silly fire lizard of ours. I know that that becomes a thing that you can actually do, but I'm not exactly sure how to do it. What's Sean got going? Sean just wants to have a nice conversation with us. Adunda, Walikoi, <laughs> Gorsha Tabar! We're gonna play out the rest it's of this day, da. and then Love after people. that, I think we're gonna call it for the day with at least a, at least a nice house built. I think in our next uh, chapter slash episode, we're gonna work on their relationship a little bit. And possibly see if we can get our next generation started. Alright, Sean, what are we going to have you do? Do whatever you want to do. Sorka, what is going on with you? She is starving to death. No! Definitely something to eat. Good thing. Obviously, we're going to make a party-sized watermelon salad. Oh, I thought Duke had peed on the floor. I was about to get very upset with him. What's up with these? Just have a nice conversation. That is always a good thing. Abgor, you flung! See how their, their sim profile is. What do we think here? Looks like... What does Sorka think? They are deeply connected. They are engaged. Nice. Two sims, one heart. Obviously. Looks like they're getting the along Norma. fantastically, which is good, because we, we do soon? have to make the next generation. Ah, she wants to be funny Frenoy. with Brent. I don't hey, know Bonnie where Brent is even at. And she wants to meet a cat <laughs> and some. hug somebody. <laughs> we can probably Hibana manage Nukem. all of those Hibana. things. Benefi. Good job. Sorka has hit Cooking Blue level Beppy. four. Sean, are you hungry Beppy? at all? Pomeray Quas. No, not so really. Alright. Don't worry about this, guys. I will put it away for you. Keepoy Shnibara. Abimova Brizu. Russia Parbalay. You know what? 
I think oh, what you have to do is take. Uh, I think you need to take the dog out jogging. Go for a jog with your dog. Fire lizard. <laughs> I'm never gonna, never gonna manage that, am I? And Sorka, let's go. Oh, I guess before we do anything else, let's go pay our bills. Because we just had the power shut off. I didn't think Avis was going to do that to us. Oh, I am I'm thrilled, Father Christmas, that your, your date went well. But we are going to go ahead and travel by ourselves and see if we can meet a cat before we end this for the day. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Um, our next couple episodes we should be concentrating more on Sean and Sorka's relationship and getting them ready for the next generation to begin. But we did get all the basics covered. They now actually have an official house, which is kind of exciting. And got a few things done. Still have a little bit of money. That is good, and I am not seeing a single dog or cat anywhere near this museum. Doesn't that just figure? I think, yes, there is a pet cemetery though, so once she is done with that, we're gonna make a quick trip over here and see if there are any animals in the pet cemetery. Maybe there will be. Maybe there will be a ghost fire lizard. Doesn't look like it right now. Also, Sorka is quite flirty. She needs to take a cold shower, and she also still needs to meet a cat, which we're going to go ahead and pin that one. Oh, wait. Looks like I am seeing something moving around. It looks like a cat. Awesome. Let us go do the friendliest of all introductions to this smelly, smelly kitty cat. Oh, and another cat. We've got cats everywhere all of a sudden. Definitely a smelly cat. Hopefully. Nope, that cat ran off before we could get here. Good job, people. And by people, I mean me. Definitely looks like we've had a bit of a fail. Where are you at? Sorka. Oh, wait, wait. Sorka, why don't you um, uproot that plant and see if we can maybe find... I hear a cat. Where on earth the cat is at? I hope. Just kind of rhymed. Wait, I see a cat. Quickly! Pause. Stay still, Miss Kitty. Alright. Come on, Sorka. Get over here. Let's meet this cat. She's also quite uncomfortable because of the rain. Zappel Can't say that I blame her. Huh? And, you know what? Let's get to know this cat. Maybe. Ask it what's wrong. See what's wrong with this cat. Probably the problem with Miss Kitty is that it's wet. Oh, but we'll see what I it says love. here. Or she's... Miss Kitty is horny. She's also curious. But I think Miss Kitty just... Oh, she also needs to go to the bathroom. Well, you know, Miss Kitty, you're, you're a stray. Ugh. Ugh. Yaug. Sorry about that. Ah, Can't huh. exactly help him there, but ah, we can be friends with Miss Kitty, huh? and that got us a little bit further along on our goal. Miss Kitty is also hungry, so you know what? 
We are going to give Miss Kitty a treat. Perhaps. We can spend five simoleons on this cute little cat. And then we're going to take Sorga home and uh, probably call it for the day. So we will rejoin Sorka back at the ranch. All right. Back home, looks like everybody is doing pretty much okay. Let's go ahead. It is 3.58, and we're just going to go ahead and call it here. Sorka, why don't you go in here? Go ahead and take a shower. Yep. I think that is where we are going to leave this today. Can't forget to save. And I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I feel like we've done a lot of the basics, and now maybe, maybe we can start to get into the meat of this story and start working on our next generation. Um, thank you, as always, for joining me on this Let's Play. And hopefully, I will see you next week when maybe we can make uh, generation number two. Like I said before, I plan on each generation, any children that Sean and Sorga have will be named for characters from the next book in the series, which was Dragon's Eye. So if you have any suggestions on which characters from Dragon's Eye, you know, you would like to see as our next generation, put them into the comments down below. And as we have kids, and we're just going to leave our children to chance, so male or female will be completely up to chance. Any children that they have, though, I will pick from those po that pool down in the comments below as to characters that you liked from Dragon's Eye that you would like to see in the next generation. Until then, have a wonderful day, and from me and Mr. Higgy here, I will see you next time.